What's going on, good people? Welcome back. I'm glad to have you back. Good to see you. Let's continue on with the guide. Uh, we're going to jump into animations and skeleton. So let us create that separator and get things going. So let's go into the tiny wrench spanner here. Create separator. Paste it here and OK. Hi, Dynamic Animation Replacer. This mod is a game changer, guys. This opened up so many possibilities. This mod dynamically replaces the actor's animations depending on various conditions. Sounds simple, but it's very, very amazing. So let's install it version 1.1. Go to Finals, version 1.1. This kind soul, Felisky384, even has a VR version. Amazing. Let's install it. Okay, let's uh, activate that move on. EVG animation variants adds variety to existing animations through FPC personal types conditions or just randomly. Very cool. We've got special instructions here. Version 1. Let's download this. Right here, very first option, main file, mod manager download. Download it. And install it. And we got a full mod, so let's look at that full mod. Full install, that's what we want. Next. Next. Thank you, you're welcome. Install it. Boom. Very good. Okay, so I've activated it, but we need to delete something. So let's right click on EBG animation, open and explore, go into meshes, actors, character, animations, dynamic animation replacer, uh, custom conditions, and we're looking for folder dash 310. Very first folder there. Go ahead and delete that. Good. All right, moving on. EBG conditional idols. A few basic hand animated idols that are roughly 9 to 13 seconds long that only play in specific conditions. Very good. Version 1.4. Go to files. Version 1.4 is the first option. Mod manager download. Download. All right. So let's install it. Double click. Got a full mod here. Open the full mod. Okay. We want recommended. Click next. Next. Thank you again. And install. Good. Activate it. Uh, Kuka's conditional and random animations. This mod adds small hand animated player character exclusive random and or conditional idols for your game like stroking your hair. Cool. So main file C-C-A-R-A -A DAR. Boom. Download it. Go on files. And we want the main file here. Because the optional is for Legendary Edition. Alright, so let's install that one. Got a full mod. Let's open up the full mod. Next. Next, we want Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn. Lexi has her own specific option. Very cool, very cool. Install. That makes things easy. All right, activate that. Cinematic Dragon Soul Absorption. Let's install this version 8.1. This mod adds an epic build music and valiant scream when absorbing dragon souls. Cool. Files. And we want version 8.1. All in one full mod installer. That's the second option here. Mod manager download. Okay, let's install it. All right, got a full mod. Open this up. We want to go down to music only, build music. And we want mixed endings for end ending music here. So, next. Next, triggered spell type. We want scripted fire explosion under optional master. Level spell animation replacer. We're going to go with floating animation. Very cool. Next. We're not going to tick that box. Click install. And we are done with that mod. Dragon animation replaced in special edition. This mod changes the standing animation for dragons. So we got a main file. And we have an optional file. So let's download them. Okay, so only two files, uh, files available. We're going to download both. So the main file and optional file. All right, so Lexi and company have not instructed us to merge this, so we're going to install it as two separate mods, starting with the main file. We're going to keep that name. Okay. Now the optional file. Drop down and choose standing breath option. Boom. Okay. Activate that. Good. D13 faster get up stand up animation vanilla friendly. This mod is an edit of the stand up get up animation to be twice as fast, because otherwise it takes ages. This is a must-have mod. Sounds simple, but it is it is huge. Mod Manager download. And let's install it. 
Expressive Facial Animation Mel Edition. This mod replaces Try files for human and elf male face animations. Good stuff. Every aspect of this game is modded, man. <laughs> Mod manager download. All right, let's install this. Okay. Activate it. And now the inverse. Expressive female animate. Not the inverse, but the opposite sex. Expressive facial animation female edition. Inverse would be expressive browning animation, maybe. All right, this mod replaces tri files for human and elf. We are what up there. Oh, okay. Well, the wording here is wrong. It's actually female. All right, so let's download this one. Files. And now we're going to download the female edition. Okay, let's install that. Okay. Very good, very good. Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine. The mod that brings all of this together. Nemesis Unlimited, we want the version 0.84 beta. Got some special instructions here. Needs to be added as, as an executable to mod, uh, mod Organizer 2. Piece of cake, I'll show you how to do it. So let's download it. And it took us to a GitHub. So we want right here, Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine version 84 beta RAR. Download it. Save the file, okay. Close this out. Then back in mod mo mad mo mad monitor, mod manager two. Go to this button here. Install new mod from archive. Mine takes me directly to my download folder. Uh, if yours don't, uh, navigate to the download folder. So click on Nemesis Unlimited. Open. I'm gonna keep it as Nemesis. Short and sweet. Good. Okay. All right. Then activate that. Now let me show you how to add this as an executable. A little different from the other tools. So, in Mod Manager, go to Data here, and look for Nemesis Engine right here. Expand it. Now go to Nemesis Unlimited right here. You're looking for that executable. See Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine? Good. Right click, and we're gonna add as ex add as executable. It already it's already named for us. Click OK, and that's it. When you drop down, there it is right there. Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine. We are good to go. Piece of cake, right? So I'm going to go back to the Downloads tab here. Boom. Okay. Enemy Mage Lock. NBC Magic Casting Commitment. Nemesis. A really simple mod to switch up combat rhythm, especially for those who love enemy spawn mods and spell distributor mods, enemy, et cetera, et cetera. Good stuff. Let's install it. I think this is new to me, though. <laughs> All right. So we're going to download the main file here. I'm not sure what I'm saying, but I'm sure it's impressive. Okay, let's install it. Boom. Okay. Activate that. Immersive animations. This adds new optional animations and refines vanilla animations for players who appreciate the overall feel of vanilla style. So let's download it. 2.1 SE. Files. Mod manager download. Good. Download it. Install it now. Boom. Got a full mod, open this up, boom. All right, I'm gonna expand this, good. So we want main module and we want sneaking. Optional files, we want strafe, great sword sprint, dual sword wield, swords on back, dual axe wield, dual dagger wield, dual mace wield, and rogue stab. Install it, boom. Close this up, activate this, and moving on. Immersive interactions, animated actions. See your character perform context-aware animations when interacting with the world. Animated uh, greetings of NPCs, pickpocketing, and so on. This is cool. I've actually messed with this, and I like it. I'll imagine download. Download. All right. Then install it. Okay. Activate that. 360 movement behavior. Face any direction when you idle, move, jump, and swim. Good stuff. Makes it feel more like a modern game when you're playing in third person. Mod Manager download. Install it. Okay. Blocking animation pack. This mod is a blocking animation replacement for Greatsword, Battle, Axe, Warhammer, One Handed, Dual Wield. Good. Download it. Files. Mod Manager download. Good. And let's install it. Boom. Okay. Activate that. Dual wield improved animations. This mod improves the dual wielding animation to be more fluid and actually used offhand in a more non-passive way. All right. Files, mod manager download. All right, ready to install, double click. Okay, activate. 
No spinning death animation. Simply remove the spinning around dance animation that they do before they die. That really looks silly. So yet again, another simple sounding but very essential mod. Version 1.31 download. We want the no spinning, no spinning death animation merged. So we go to files and we download the second option. No spinning death animation merged. Mod manager download. Double click to install it. Good. Activate. CBPC, CBP physics with collision for SSE and VR. This mod is a basic breast button belly bounce. Yes, yes, I'm just gonna say yes. And leave it at that. Download. Files, we want the main full mod here. Download it. Good. All right, so double click. Let's look at this full mod here. Let's open up this full mod. Okay, so from here we want special edition. Click next, next. Uh, SKSC 2.0.17, we do want that one. Next, next. Body shape, we're gonna choose UNPB. Next, next. And we want to install gravity config, then install it. That's done. We've got one more step. So right click, open in Explorer, and click on going into SK SKSE plugins and then we're going to open up CBP collision config that's that one right there so double click open it nope yeah now we're looking for extra options that's right here and look for belly bulge oh right here very first option and we're going to change this to zero so yep to zero boom Save it and exit out. All right, close this window and activate it. Immersive CBP config. This mod tweaks to bounce the CBP to be more realistic and immersive. So let's download that. Files. Then we're gonna download the first option here. Download it and then install it. Okay, activate that. XP32 Maximum Skeleton Special Extended. Another essential mod. I couldn't tell you exactly what it does, but I know it's amazing. So let's download that. Go to Files. Mod Manager Download. Download. And double click to install it. It's going to be a full mod. And there's the full mod. All right, open this up. <clears throat> We're going to keep it at Physics Extensions. Next. Next. We want to keep Race Menu. Next. Next. Uh, none. Next. Next. I'm gonna open this up. I said next. Okay. So, belt fastened quivers, none. So, everything down to dagger hip, no, none here. I think it's gonna be none all the way down, right? Yeah. We don't want to change anything here. Click next. Next. Not gonna change anything here either. So, click next. Next. Nothing here. Next. Next. Uh, nothing here for Schlongs or Skyrim. Click none. Next. Next. Deadly mutilation. Keep it on none. Next. Next. Ender all. Going with none. And then install. That's it. Activate that. Close that. XPM SSE weapon styles uncloaked. Replaces the cloak spell used for applying uh, weapon styles. Okay. Let's download it. Files. Magic download. All right, let's in, now let's install it, double click, okay. And then activate this. Let's clear this out. I'm right clicking, delete install downloads. Very good, very good. All right, Savage Skyrim. Savage Skyrim gives a more realistic and believable feel to its creatures while also providing the player new challenges and hazards to avoid or overcome. And we've got some special instructions here, so let's go ahead and install that. Files, mod manager download, okay. And now let's install it. Double click. We can install it, then open it up and delete, but I'm gonna do it this way. Clicking on manual. We're gonna go to meshes, actors, and we're gonna un uh, uncheck Achenok Flame. Okay, now let's minimize uh, meshes. We're gonna uncheck the box next to textures, and we're gonna uncheck um, savageskyrim.esp. Okay, and let me double check something. 
Okay, we're good. All right, activate that. Moving on. Supreme Vampire Lords, a must-have mod for vampire lovers. This mod not only enlarges the wings of the vampire lords, but also makes new subtle enhancements to the upper torso. Sounds good. We're going to download the XP32 version. Click on Download, Files, and uh, we're going to want the second option here, XP32. Download. download again. Okay. Now let's install it. All right. Activate. Wicked Werewolves, a must-have for our lycanthrope lovers. This mod transforms the cartoon-like proportions of another werewolves to a creepier, more realistic proportion man-beast. And we're going to want the XP32 version of that. Files. Second option, uh, yet again. Mod Manager download. Download. And let's install it. Okay. And since the next section, dull sheath, is so short, uh, we're going to go ahead and install that as well. So let's create the separator. Copy. Tiny wrench and spanner, create separator, and paste. All right. All right, simple dual sheath. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Makes equipped left hand weapons and both stays visible in the player. Cool. Main and optional files and NPCs. Okay. So let's download it. Files. And let's download both of these. The main file. Download it. And the optional file. Bam. Mod manager download. Okay, so we're not being instructed to merge them, so we're gonna install these as separate mods. So the main file first, we're gonna keep that name, dual, simple, simple dual sheath, okay? And then optional, boom, drop down, left hand sheath rotation fix. Good, 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 good. Let's activate those. And we need a change in INI, that's probably gonna be in the main file. So open and explore. Go into SKSC, plugins, and dual simple dual sheath.ini. So let's look for flags. Oh, shield on back. Look for shield on back. That's right here. And for flags, we're gonna I'm gonna copy this. Player, whatever this whatever that is, NPC. So yeah. So after flags right here. Yeah, so what that's flagging is that it's going to enable shields on back for both player and NPC. So I'm going to paste that here. So it's players, whatever this line is, NPC. It's not an L. I'm not sure what that is. Or even where that is on the keyboard. <laughs> so I'm just going to copy and paste that. Save it. Close this. Close this. And I'm going to collapse both of these. All right, guys. Thank you for uh, joining me in this video. Next video, we're going to get into skin and body. Alrighty, see you in the next video.